Hey guys, it's Vivian, your hot stock girl. Today I'm going to discuss interest rates and how they may affect your investment strategy. Like my recent video on capital gains taxes, this video is just a general overview of how changing interest rates affect your investments. The best way to handle your portfolio of stocks in a rising interest rate environment is to stay diversified by owning many stocks in different industries. It is almost impossible to jump in and out of the market at the exact right time. So stay invested long term and keep some cash on the sidelines to capitalize on market opportunities. Now let's get started. The federal funds rate is the overnight rate charged to banks and other financial institutions. Because it is an overnight rate, it is considered a short term rate. Recently, the Federal Reserve raised the federal funds interest rate another quarter of a percent and plan to raise rates three more times in 2019. The current Fed funds rate is two and a quarter percent. What does that mean to you? If you invest in the markets, it means a lot. In interest rates affect all investments in some way. Higher interest rates affect the cost of borrowing. This causes a trickle-down effect throughout the economy. When the Fed increases the Fed funds rate, it is attempting to control inflation by shrinking the money supply. When the Fed rate goes up, other market rates like bond rates and mortgage rates usually adjust higher. This means the economy is doing pretty well and the Fed is trying to slow it down a bit to keep it from growing too fast. This affects individual companies directly by making their borrowing costs more expensive. It also tends to affect the overall stock market because stock trading multiples tend to contra contract a bit as earnings growth tends to slow down. You should check the balance sheet of every company you own to see how much debt they have. If debt is high in relationship to the company's yearly EBITDA, then high interest rates could have a significant impact on the stock price in the future. Bond prices have an inverse relationship to interest rates, so bond prices will fall to adjust to the higher rate. While rising long-term rates will ultimately have a negative for company profits and stock market multiples, as long as the rates don't rise too fast, the market should continue to be strong. So there you have it, my thoughts on interest rates. I'm Vivian, your hot stock girl, and please be sure to subscribe below and check out my other investment ideas. Thank you.